This week's blog post is the second in my series of illustrations for Fiona Davis's The Magnolia Palace. There's more information about this series in the first post in the series. We are up now to chapter eight. A painting showing a spaniel at the feet of two lovers is mentioned. That's in the Fragonard Room. It's the Progress of Love series, uh, specifically Love Letters, 1771 to 72. In the library, a painting of a flushed George Washington is mentioned. That's a Gilbert Stuart Washington, 1795. Also in the library is a sailboat on rocky seas, which is probably this Turner painting of fishing boats entering Calais Harbor, circa 1803. She mentions ravishingly beautiful women wearing puffy wigs. That is probably a series of portraits by Gainsborough of the 1770s to 1780s. Henry Clay Frick owned four Gainsborough portraits of women, among the most paintings by any artist at the Frick. The gruff-looking man with thinning gray hair, looking off to the side as if about to bark an order, also in the library, is perhaps this Hall's portrait of an elderly man, circa 1627 to 30. Then again, this might be the wrong painting. I always think of Hall's as sitters as being cheerful, so I tend to think this one is smiling under his mustache, not looking grim. The young woman in the simple red dress, holding a spaniel, is Romney's Lady Hamilton as Nature, 1782. On the left is Holbein the Younger's portrait of Sir Thomas More, 1527. I've written at length on this painting in my essay, How to Analyze and Appreciate Paintings. You can find more information on that on my website. In the center is El Greco's St. Jerome, circa 1590 to 1600. And on the right is Holbein the Younger's Thomas Cromwell, 1532 to 1533. There is one clue that I couldn't decipher. The one that says I'm 52, feeling quite blue, although I look like a king. I've got absolutely no thing to my name. I don't know what painting that's talking about. It's a pity that I hadn't read Magnolia Palace last month when I was actually visiting the Frick. Moving on to chapter nine. Uh, Davis mentions Frick's enamels, judging from the number of enamels that he owned, Mr. Frick really liked this particular form of decorative art. The large Turner oil of the Rhine at Cologne is Turner's Cologne, the arrival of a packet boat, evening, 1826. It is a glorious seven feet wide. And the final one this month is Carl Bitter, Pomona, on the Pulitzer Fountain in front of the Plaza Hotel. I've mentioned that in the previous episode the previous uh, post in this series. Next week, we will look at chapters 10 to 23, and I will also give you some notes about Audrey Munson. DianeDurantiWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, architecture, painting, and my other obsessions. To join the Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeDurantiWriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.